Good day and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw the mechanism loci problem displayed. That is, we'll be drawing the solution of the mechanism loci problem displayed. So the, the question attached to the diagram, that is to the figure, the question says, in the given mechanism on page 41, the crank OA revolves anticlockwise about O. The end B of the rod AB is constrained to move always along PQ. Plot the locus of R for one revolution of OA. If OA is 30 cm, AB is 105 cm and AR is 70 cm. Scale 1 mm to 1 cm. So that means for every dimension we see in centimeter, we use millimeter in our ruler. So we'll start the question. So first, we are to draw a vertical line this way. The question says OA is 30 cm. I remember they said scale, that's at the end of the question. It says scale 1 mm to 1 cm. So since they said once 30 cm in the question, so we use 30 mm in our ruler. So, so we are to draw the cycle. That is OA is the radius of the cycle. They said it's 30 cm. So we are using 30 millimeter. So we take 30 millimeter from our ruler. Then we can now draw we can now draw the cycle. So the cycle is on this line. Next is to draw horizontal line passing through the center of the cycle. So next is to further divide the cycle into, so we we'll further divide the cycle into 12 equal parts. So we we'll do so using our 60 degree set square, supported by our T square. So now we number the points where lines of division intersect the circumference of the cycle. But before then, I will label the center of the cycle O. Because from the question, the center is O. So and I will label, I will number this point A in A series. So I will start with this side here. So here will be A0. Here. A1. So I will continue in that manner. So from the figure above, you observe that there is another line here. There is another vertical line that is 60 centimeter from this vertical line. So I also remember our scaling. Centimeter that is our scaling says one millimeter to one centimeter. So since they said 60 millimeter from this line, so we are drawing, since they said 60 centimeter from this line, so we are drawing 60 millimeter. So let's mark. So you have to label the line PQ from the question. So we have P here. And then we have Q here. The question says 
AB is 105 centimeter. That is according to our scale. That is 105 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to radius of 105 millimeter. Then after that, I will place my compass on A0. Then I will cut arc on this line this way. That is this vertical line. That is line PQ. So the, the point where the line intersects line PQ, that is the point where, that is this point here. I will call this point, call this point B0. So I will draw a line joining point A0 and point B0. So I will repeat the same procedure for the other A points. So I will place my compass on A1. So this point will be B1. So I will join. That is, I'm using the same radius all through. So this one will be P2. So I will continue the same procedure till A11. So we are done with AB. So the question says AR is seven cent 70 centimeter. That is according to our scale, that is 70 millimeter. Now we adjust the compass to 70 millimeter first. Then I will place the compass on A0. Then I will cut an arc on line AB, A0, B0, that is this line. So I will mark the point and call the point R0. So I will do the same procedure for A1. Yes, I will place my compass here. Then I will cut arc on A1, that is line A1, B1. So I'll mark the point where the axe intersect. Then I'll name the point R1. So for A2, the same. So I'll continue in this procedure.
No, this point should be R. Yeah, this point should be R, not B. So the the R points are the points where the curve will pass through. So so these are the points from R zero. So now we draw the curve passing through the points. So I'll be using my French curves. So we are done with the curve. I will make line O A zero bold. And also line O zero B zero. Then I will add dimension to the drawing. So we are done with the question. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, if you have any question on engineering and technical drawing in general, you can message me on WhatsApp. The number displayed is my WhatsApp number.